In this example, we'll draw a dot plot, and we're given data that represents the ages of 30 randomly chosen NBA players. And the first thing we need to do is draw an axis that will cover the full range of the data. So just kind of scanning through, it looks like the lowest value here is around 20, and the highest value is about 36. So let's make sure our range will at least cover those values. Let's draw an axis here with values from 20 up to 36. Now that we have our axis, all we need to do is read through each of these data points and put a dot for each one. So for the first value at 22, we just put a dot above the 22. Then we have 28, so we'll put a dot at the 28. Notice it hovers a little bit above the marker, but it doesn't really matter how high we put them as long as we place them at consistent heights, just so we can visualize the final result. That'll make more sense as we draw more of these. The next value is at 20, then at 24, then at 26, then 21, 27, and then we get another 28. So this is the second time we've seen 28. So we won't draw the second dot at the same place as the first one, but we'll put it right above it. So now there's a second dot at 28. Then we go to 31 and 29 and just continue on entering these. We hit another 24 here. And again, we just put this one above the first one at that location. Then we have another 22, another 21, then a 25, another 22, another 25, 30, another 29, another 20, and so on. There's our 36, another 24, the first 23, another 36, another 24, another 29, and we'll just finish this out. So there we see our dot plot, where each time we run into a value we've already drawn a dot for, we just draw a one a little bit higher. So notice that the height of these stacks tells us how frequent an age is. So the more frequent ones are over here, and then the 36s, there's kind of what we would call an outlier. They're far out from the other data points. And for instance, 30 is relatively rare. There's only one of those and so on. So there's a lot we can tell from this plot and we'll draw other types of plots later on that fit this same kind of pattern of looking for where the data is clustered and where it's spread out. But a dot plot is a very simple way to observe that at first.